Hello Unique Divas, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to make this double layer satellite fascinator. So first of all, um, what I'm holding is already made cab base. I've already taught how to do this cab base. You can watch it on my channel. So I already have a video on how to mold the cab base. Then um, this particular one I'm holding now is 7 inches mold. That was how I got that base. Alright, this fabric is night fabric and I'll be using it to cover up the millinery wire. What I'm holding now is called the millinery wire. We have a flexible wire. That one can be moved to any point, okay? So what I'm doing now is to wrap the edge so it will form a circle, okay? If I've been watching my fascinator tutorials, you observe that this process is not a new method. So the essence of doing this is to secure the edge of the millinery wire. All right, I cut out two pieces of this. You can see it. the biggest one measures 52 inches and the small one measures 40 inches. 52 inches and 40 inches. Normally after wrapping up the edge, I normally use um, this bias to cover it up. It's, as I said earlier on, if you have been watching my fascinator, you know that method. But this particular design, I didn't wrap up with my bias. You will still see the reason why I didn't do that wrapping up, okay? Alright, I'll be using this night. This is normal night design that is being sold in the market. Use it to wrap up the fascinator this way. And um, to form that curvy shape, continue to drag the center, like the middle of this fabric. You continue to drag and adjust and you will see it will be curving down. If you leave it without dragging it, it will be flat. But I want it to be curved like this. You can see the place I concentrated. So as you drag, you you adjust. As you drag, you adjust and you get your, your curved part. Once you are done getting the curved part you want, then you use your thread to wrap it up. I will be doing this same method to the other to the other millinery wire okay so as i'm done wrapping it up i'll be using my scissors to cut out this excess part please while cutting out make sure you don't touch this part once you touch it everything will lose it will just loosen up okay so you can see the finished look yes so um next thing i'll be doing now is to wrap the edge that's why i told there's no need wrapping up with your bias it, to me it's a waste of material so I'll be wrapping, up, wrapping it up this way. There are two methods of wrapping this up. You can use this E7000 or your USU gum to wrap up the edge. Or you use your sewing machine to wrap up. But this, in this particular tutorial, I used my E7000. And I found out that after wrapping up, it wasn't too neat. Like the edge wasn't too neat. So I took it to my sewing machine and I sew the edge round. Once I finished doing that, I observed that... The, the fact I got a perfect look. So you can decide to sew without using your E7000 or your USU gum. I don't know. It depends on what you want. So I wrapped the whole edge and I found that it wasn't too neat. I had to sew. Okay, so you can see how it looks. See the second one, this outcome. Alright, guys, if, I've not, if you have read this level and you've not subscribed to my channel, ha, ah, you're not doing your girl good though. You're not doing me good. Please support your girl by subscribing. Join the unique diverse family. Yes. If you watch my videos, you observe that God has been using me to bless souls. Ah, you can you can clap, you can clap. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And don't hesitate to like this video if you find it helpful. Please. Don't hesitate. Alright. So guys, um, I'm using my little thread to tack the center. You can see what I'm doing there. See, this video is like a quick one. Like you can do this within this one hour. You can do this within an hour and Everything is ready. So I'm tacking the center. And after that, I'll take it to my sewing machine and sew around this point. You can see it. But before sewing around, this, this cap base will come from under. Okay? So you take your measuring tape and measure two inches. I just want the, this is the center part. I just want it to stop at two inches. Okay? So I had to measure it out and show you how I did the measuring. You can see it. So from the center to this point, I got two inches. Now you take it to the to the satellite fascinator and use your chalk and mark out two inches from the center. You're going to mark this round, like round. 
please don't forget to do this part. The reason for this is to give you a guide on how to do your sewing because you still sew these two things together, okay? All right, so I'm done marking around and you can see the way I did my sewing with my sewing machine. So I'll be using my scissor, my blade to cut out the center part, then also use my scissors for that method. You can see it. Please, why cutting out? Avoid touching that seam part. Once you cut it off, everything will just lose. So this news, this needs carefulness. Like you will shine your eyes while doing this project, so you don't mess up the work you started. So I'm done cutting out, and I'll see how it looks. But I will still trim off the edge so it will come out very smooth. Look and see what I mean. You can see it. I later trimmed out that rough edge on this fascinator. See it? It's now very neat. And I didn't touch where I sew. Don't touch it so you don't mess up your work. Alright, next now we do now is to do the attachment. We're almost getting to the end of this project. But at this point, you must tack. Some people use their glue gun to hold it together. But me, I prefer tacking with my needle and thread to avoid stories that touches the heart. So use your pin to hold it this way before using your needle and thread to tack down. So watch the way I do the tacking. At this point you can see how it looks yes so i'm done tacking the whole thing and for this rough part i'll be using this applique to cover it up you can get any other design from the market there are many of them so i will use my candle gum to gum it down you can use a usu gum your e7000 but i used my candle gum and my glue gun here to do the gumming process okay so um, I forgot to tack the rose and the flower to this fascinator before covering the edges. Please, you can tack your feathers and the rose before covering up that rough part. So at this point, I'm, I start using my dinner thread. I've done this process like several times. So I use my dinner thread to tack the feathers also i got this rose this petal rose and i used my linen and thread to tack it as well you can cut out the excess part with your with your scissors or your your plier then use a linen and thread to tack down i've shown you guys how to do this tacking i think in my previous video on a fascinator let's check out my fascinator tutorial you can see the way i did the tacking so after doing this i always use my glue gun to gum it down even after tacking i'll still glue down all right i used my scissors to cut out this part because i found that there's no need covering the rose part again so i have to take it down to the other part you understand this edge i have to cover the other side up again so after doing this adjustment i start covering this end that's why i told you first of all attach your feathers before doing the covering okay all right, see how it looks. And guys, um, I didn't really show you how to do the under of this fascinator because I've been sh I like I have a tutorial. Yes, check out this video. You will see a tutorial how to do the covering part. I didn't really want this video to be too long. That's why I didn't show it. If you love this video and it's very helpful, why not join this family? Like and subscribe. See you guys next time. Bye.